Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Monster of Hobbits. And today, my friends, we're going to be looking at some German beer. A huge Dockelbunk, uh, to be exact, by uh, the Schoesbrau Brewery. And uh, the Brauerei Schoesbrau uh, from Germany. It was the brewery that had the little trifle with um, with Brewdog about making the strongest beer in the world. And this is uh, one of their beers. This is the Shaw Spock, which is a double bug on 13%, which is huge. Um, this was actually given to me uh, by my mom. She was in Germany recently, uh, just a small trip to pick, down to the Danish German border shops to pick up some uh, supplies for a night. Uh, and supplies of, of, of beer and soda because it's much cheaper down there. Uh, so she went there and she saw a gift pack of some Schorsch Brau beers and picked them up for me. So thanks to my mom from the beer. I also got the, this is the Schorsch Brau 13%. I also got the 16% version and the Schorsch Weizenbach. But yeah, it's, uh, the fun story there is that they had uh, that little trifle with Brewdog about making the strongest beer in the world. But, and Brewdog essentially a one, uh, but uh, it says serve ice cold, brewed in accordance to the German brewery law, brewed in Bavaria and Brauerei Schorsbrau, contains water and barley malts, hops and yeast, and that's about it. So yeah, I like the label though, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be using my um, Graceland mug, even though I should probably use a dimple mug, but I just wanted to use this because I haven't used it in ages, but uh, yeah. Let's get this huge double block cracked open. Uh, it's got a dark, murky, brown, reddish color. It's not that pretty to be honest. And the head is a small one finger beige head. Um, looks like a, a unfiltered double block. So let's see all the aroma. Huge alcohol notes and those notes in the aroma. It's got some smoky notes in there too. That's kind of strange. Yeah, it does have a little bit of smoke. So it's just short buck, 13%. Um, lots of caramel in there too. Dark fruits. I'm really surprised by the smoke. It's kind of like a campfire kind of smoky note, but it's very, very subtle. S some burnt, almost light roasted, toasted notes, nuttiness. But big on the alcohol too. I think that's kind of strange, but let's uh, give it a taste. Cheers, guys. That's pretty darn sweet. You do not taste the alcohol at all. Probably because it's so cold, but wow. Okay, now the warming sensation comes. This is the strangest stop of block I have ever had. That is very strange. Certainly a unique beer. Uh, the flavor on it, or the body on it, it's sort of like a medium body. It's got a sticky mouthfeel. It's really, really sweet. And then the flavor there, there's a light, burnt, smoky kind of note, like a burnt rubber almost. Lots and lots of dark fruit. It's um, got a slight tang to it. It's not sour, but just like a tang, lemony tang to it, which is quite strange. Pretty impressed that you don't taste the 13% alcohol in here. Uh, that's pretty darn crazy. Um, there's some, some breadiness in there, some darker bread. Um, I was expecting this to be a huge booze bomb, according to the aroma, but wow, the taste really surprises me. But this is probably the most strange stuff of I've ever tasted. Very, very untraditional, for sure. It's got somewhat of a graininess too. Toasted, lightly toasted grains in there too. Just can't get over that smoke flavor. Subtle smoke flavor. And dark fruit, there's quite a lot of dark fruit in there. Um, very strange double bug actually. I'm um, quite like um, 
surprised by this indeed. Uh, best before 2013 it says, so it's fresh and all. Um, it, it's not overwhelmingly tasty uh, and it's not overwhelmingly great, it's just quite unique. Uh, certainly not bad. That's quite strange. And as you see, it's pretty dangerously drinkable for such a high ABV beer. Um, rating wise, for the Shores Buck, uh, from Shores Pile, I'm kind of on the fence here, guys. Um, I'm not really sure if I, uh, I like it that much, actually. Um, it's not bad at all, really, but it's not that good. But I think I'm going to give it a 60, like give it a benefit of the doubt, because it's above average, definitely. It's not bad beer, but it's not anything that blows my mind in any way. And that's probably because of that weird mixed palette of flavors on there. Uh, certainly the most strange double bug I've tasted in my entire life, or so far. Maybe the 16% version is even stranger. Who knows? But guys, let me know what you think about the Schurzbräu, Schurzbach on 13% if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out my Facebook fan page and Twitter, all that stuff. And I'm going to say cheers, guys. And I'm going to see you in another beer review.